That brings us to our last step, which is making the parse function actually do use this transformation that we worked on. So the idea overall is that when in your curly program you have a let rec fac and then have a recursive reference, uh, have a reference back to itself, that this could be parsed the same as let fac with make rec, lambda fac, and then that right hand side. So you see the, the whole right hand side is going to be intact. We just have a wrapper lambda around it with the argument name determined to be the same as this. And we use that same name here as well. And then the body function is unmodified. There's this make rec part that when we wrote it as plate, uh, we were writing as a separate definition. But we know that make rec just stands for this other term. You know, you could go back to that definition, change everything to curly braces, and it's exactly this term. Of course, this term is using let, and we know let is expressed as lambda. So you could just as well write make rec uh, as this pile of code. And we could literally insert this pile of code in place of that make rec, and we would get a full implementation of factorial uh, and a path to, uh, to transform this term into that one. So in other words, if we change curly to allow someone to write let rec with any name, right hand side, and body, we can arrange for the parser to produce the same thing as it would if we had given it let name. And if we had pasted the big giant make rec form here, and then written lambda and wrote name again, and then that right hand side and then the body. Of course the parser is going to, for, for this let, it's really going to produce the same thing that it would produce for this input. This is just rearranging the let into a lambda. And then if we actually fill in make rec, it means that the parser is producing the same thing that it would produce for this put. So the parser could pull out the name, the right hand side, and the body, and re-put it together into this big giant term with the name used a couple of times, and the body used once, and the right hand side used once. 